was over crypto muscle coming to you in a YouTube video here we are in an right now worldwide so get where's that crypto muscle on the crypto muscle now we're coming to you in another video all right man it's been in a few days since we've last done a death watch series here the critically acclaimed and uh put it all to shame out there because you know why because this is real this damn real all right and this is the death watch and uh, people love the death watch because it's real right I keep it real I mean I've always kept it real anyhow this is where it's at I'm starting to get under the weather a little bit my throat's getting kind of scratchy and all that stuff but it doesn't stop me from pumping out the content all right pumping iron pumping crypto and pumping content and so uh and uh you know pumping the pump too you know so death watch man where do i begin all right i mean we'll come back to this one because you know, i always like to laugh at this one all right and smash on marcos too so here is Lance Green. All right, I'm not gonna log into it because I got to turn on the VPN and all that stuff. All right, so um, with Lance Green, let's take a, let's go, uh, you know, jump into different various uh, chat rooms and stuff here. Let's check out Lance Green. All right, nothing from corporate since January 26. All right, and so. Uh, Let's see what's transpired since then, all right? So far, so far, nothing. <laughs> nothing. All right, they keep, They were saying early on, oh, the withdrawals are, are back and uh, we're paying 10%. But so far, I haven't heard anybody getting paid out anything. All right. And of course, in the chat, they're trying to keep positive and stay, you know, keep the talk positive. Stay positive, guys. Because, you know, all that negative talk, I, don't, I stay away from the chat because it's so negative. That's what they say, right? So, I firmly believe in addressing and overcoming these, these issues will fortify the program, right? So, uh, let's see here. They talk about how great L Green is and. You know, how much it distinguishes themselves from other people and blah, 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 blah. Keep positive, keep positive. Pray, 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 right? I mean, that's what they do all the time, man. So, uh, see, why is the company not even interested in giving any update about the situation? It's been more than a week. I know, it's supposed to pay a week ago, right? The 10% and yet it hasn't happened? Not even 10%. Plus, a lot of people came in get 10% paid to them because there's not enough to pull out even 50 bucks which would be at least $500 deposit and uh, not a lot of people have uh, you know paid that so they're just stuck who knows what will happen what is the purpose of the group is there anyone to ask Salgado Anderson Salgado he's the guy that's behind El Green right those are related to Salgado, who can be patient, are keeping quiet. Won't he be further away from us? What the hell are you talking about? All right. None of the leaders except for Jeremy could probably answer that question. As I stated before, it is frustrating. We all know Jeremy's trying his best. All right. But meantime, just, just uh, stay positive, guys. Stay positive. Keep praying that everything's going to be okay. All right. So, you know, that's just what it is right now. But, yeah, so far, though, um, L Green, uh, nothing has come out yet. So, no communication, nothing from uh, the people of L Green, right? Yeah, you have the leaders talking, but that's not the same. All right? We need to know the answers. But we already know the answer. This El Green is gone. It's, it's a dead in the water. Like, why is it that it was paying no issues whatsoever for a year? I mean, literally, there was no issues for a whole year. And all of a sudden, bam, just like that, 
an issue. And not only that, it, it just completely stopped paying. Shit. What, nearly a month now? All right. Give or take, what, three weeks? So the longer this thing goes, the more likely it's not going to work out. Right, the the window of opportunity of like getting anything back is just getting smaller and smaller and smaller, closing up shop. But they're gonna hang on like this, you know. Um, deposits are open, right? Keep the faith, right? Man, why do I got a feeling that that you gotta put money to make money, right? Even though we already put money in before, but they're going to say, oh, you know, in order to facilitate these things, you got to put a little bit more into it. You got to put $100 into it. You got to put, you know, 10% into it to get 10% out. And it's like a cycle, right? So, yeah. This not looking really good right now, all right? You know, at first, you know, in the very beginning, yeah, they said, oh, we got to fix this. And then we're going to start doing a 10% thing and all that. And then now it skipped its first uh, payout of uh, the proposal they've talked about, if you guys recall. Um, if you guys don't recall, look at my last video about El Green. Right? I talk about El Green all the time and Death Watch. Because uh, I want people to just kind of see and learn what's going on here. All right, let me see here. Uh, yeah, even in the meetings they've had, there's really no progress to the situation uh, in terms of the Zoom call meetings, right? I don't even know what they talk about. I mean, if, if the purpose of the Zoom call is to keep everybody informed of what's going on, but they got no new information, then well, what's the point of the Zoom call, right? To sell the product still? I mean, you know, what is that, right? So look at that. No new updates today. Please stay tuned and thank you for your patience, right? That was based on the Zoom call and just overall. All right, there's nothing going on. Still, even though when people check in from time to time, is there any news? Nothing. So, let me see here. I'm going to check something here. All right. Let me see. Okay. We're just going to move on. So, next one up. Let's see if it's still if I still have it up here. I don't even think I have it up here, but I think I closed it a while ago. Let's bring up Banger. All right. So, I will leave it here. I like this white backdrop. This page isn't working, right? Let's talk about Banger. Man. The fall from grace is all in your face. Alright, so uh, they're continuing to have like these sort of uh, issues, right? Where, you know, they upgrade and then issues are happening. Every time they do some sort of upgrading or maintenance work, it really screws people up. Right? People are not getting their withdrawals and things like that. And, uh, you know, they, they screwed me up, right? And then don't even speak for it. I said, screw you guys. And, oh, this is serious. So the update is live. What's changed? No. Now, withdrawals go automatic without request. That means that you will just receive it on a daily, weekly, monthly basis on your wallet as soon as your withdrawal is more than 0 0.01 BNB. Once the liquidity comes in stake from staking, it distributes automatically across all users with active servers, except for credited, which will be happening on chaotic times. So it can be several times per day, three to four times per week. Well, I got a feeling that this thing's not going to work. <laughs> all right. If anyone's pending was not canceled, all right, there's a lot of pending withdrawals. And supposedly they are doing instant withdrawals now. Um, why? I, I don't know. I, it, you know, they keep changing things and going back to things and trying to fix things. And it's really not doing this thing any service, but more of a disservice. So, just saying. 
So we're trying to see now if withdrawals are coming out because they were kind of slow. It slowed down for a couple days and then all of a sudden they're trying to fix it to automatic. So trying to see if anybody is uh, getting paid here. Still waiting. Look at that. Pending. Uh, let's see here. So this guy says, this does not make sense to me. Uh, they showed us the payment from yesterday, 6 p.m. I also have BNB in my banger wallet, but I did not receive a payment. So if you tell us that it pays us all in proportion, it is not true. There you go. What did I tell you? <laughs> I mean, like, you know, what do I got a feeling it's not going to work? All right. Uh, from my understanding, since I got a 10K server, I will not get the money paid out here on balance or not for full money because I have a $3,000 in real servers because I reinvested much, uh, whatever. So, fact of the matter is, uh, what is going on? Because I've been patient till now. I can't understand why my capital is being held away from me. Aha. <laughs> No, leave the group, leave the group. You're so negative, right? You're so negative. So, uh... We have not gone anywhere. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, right. But yeah, so looking through this, though, it looks like still having issues with the withdrawals. Every time they do maintenance, it screws everybody over. So, just saying, you know... It's too bad though. Yeah, banger could have been something good, but they want to keep screwing things up. That's on them. Now, let's go on to uh, Aladdin Bot. I haven't talked about them in a long time because, well, ever since they screwed people over, just because you're in their downline or, you know, whatever, it's just like, it's trash when they do that stuff. Petty stuff like that, you know? So let's look at Aladdin Bot, all right? So Aladdin Bot could have been something, but it's not. Because, again, these are the types, this is the type of platform that screw people over. And so, because of that, they're screwed up right now. Uh, their withdrawals continue to be slowing down more and more and more and more, all right? So, according to uh, a close uh, associate in the space, all right, that actually is in a lot of bot still. His last withdrawal took a week to get paid out. So this thing is slowing down to a trickle. But they completely dropped the ball a while ago, you know. Like, they had a lot of people, a lot of support. And they're just taken left and right to where this is kind of selectively working with people. Selectively be paying people. So when they do shit like that, yeah, of course this thing's gonna falter. And that's what's happening right now. The current progress from what I've heard was that it takes a week now for your withdrawals to come through and get paid to you, if you're lucky to get it. So as this thing is slowly winding down, this thing might be coming to an end. All right. And so uh, just wanted to throw that out there. All right, Aladdin by whew, slowing down to the trickle. Banger having issues paying out. El Green <laughs> ongoing issue paying out. And so that leaves me with uh, Echo One now. All right, and then I'm going to bring to you a crypto flashback. All right, it's going to be fun. So, Echo One. Where are we with Echo One? Another weekend goes by and, uh, oh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Crickets. All right, so let's go take a look at the cricket scene. <laughs> nothing. Of course, nobody from up top since January 3rd. And, of course, nothing going on over here. All right, qu the chats are real quiet. It's getting more and more quieter. Look at that. Three days now. 
Nothing. No answers. All right, three days ago. Trash. Like Marcos. All right, because, like, when you look at the stuff that he says, you know, he was communicating with them privately and asked them for permission to share what they share with him. Get out of here, man. No one, he didn't get nothing for nobody, man. Because he's selfish, piece of shit, trash that he is. All right. Oh, he don't give a shit. Bottom line, if he really gave a shit, just be real with us. As simply as simple as that. Just be real. But no, you want to drag this pony show on and sit there and say, oh, you know, I'm still waiting to hear from them. We all know it's over. All right, if it hasn't paid out since, think about it now, Christmas Eve, what makes you think it's going to pay out, you moron, right? But no, no, I talked to them and, you know, uh, blah, 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 you know, keep the tray going, right? So, screw that charade bullshit. All right, screw him. The, the, the thing about it is that it's way over. So, And the problem is, to me, the, the biggest problem is that is how when you don't have any skin in the game like him, he doesn't give a shit. But he drags that shit on, right? When I say he doesn't have his skin in the game, because we all know that his deposit's been paid for, right? It's been covered. And that's why he don't give a shit. Come on, what makes you think he would actually put $30,000 in the Echo One? He, he just can't. He's a scared bitch. And that's the bottom line, too. He's a scared bitch. Deposit's fake. And that's why he doesn't give a shit about it. And, you know, when Titan 369 falls at some point, he's going to act the same way, you know. Nonchalant arrogant, doesn't give a shit, go hide in his bushes again until the thing is over. And then uh, when something new pops up, especially that has anything to do with Bitcoin and, you know, instant Bitcoin, especially, oh man, he loves that instant Bitcoin, man. He, he just, he just, uh, he, he, he shoots a load on that stuff too. Shit. So, that's where it's at here. Nobody can convince me that that deposit was real in 369 unless I see that transaction ID. That's the only way I'll believe it. But other than that, <laughs> that deposit was fake. It was set up. You could tell it was fake. And I keep being told by, you know, you know, a couple of people saying, oh, you know, it, it is real. It was real. And I was like, nah, I don't believe it. I got to see the transaction ID to prove it to me. Because the way it kind of just, you know, all he had to do was not pause. All right. Because that's where it was fishy. Because I straight up did it with no pause, no interruption. And it went through super quick. So if it went through super quick without a pause in my video, then there you go, right? It worked. It, it came through super quick. And I demonstrated how quick it was, right? Where he just said, oh, it took like a minute. It took like a minute or two. It was very fast. But no, you had to stop the video to do that because it was fake. It was set up. So, that's what we got going on here. And by the way, 369 is Jensen Part 2, Vortex Part 2. But hey, you know, I mean, I'm all for it. I'm a supporter of uh, Vortex Part 2. I'm just tired of the, the shithead liars in this space. The Malachis that don't... <laughs> he don't give a shit either. He's just a follower, right? And he's a leech. He just leeches on people's, you know, content. And then he acts like he's the savior of Africa because he represents with his little, uh, you know, speech impediment that he has. You know, come on, guys. 
you know, and you know, his his mumble jumbo, you know, speech that he gives all the time, and uh, how he tries to act like he inspires people, but he doesn't inspire jack shit. And when he gives his presentation, nobody can understand what the hell he's saying. So, just saying. You know, and, uh, but yeah, you know, Malachi is a leech, all right? And he's sucking off of Marcos. <laughs> so, look at that, leeching off of Marcos. Because if Malachi had anything to prove, or anything, anything to prove whatsoever, he never does. When, when, when did he ever show anything ever in anybody's videos? Never, ever. So get the fuck out of here, Malachi. You're trash. All right. Act like you're like some Jan Gregory piece of shit. Never show you shit, man. It's already it's already bad enough. You have a fake piece of shit in this space, and then you you leech off the fakeness. What kind of shit is that? So, anyhow, Echo One, by the way, did not pay over this weekend once again. Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> Shocking. But no, uh, these guys don't want to tell you that it's over. I would, but then I'll probably get kicked out of the group for saying that, that it's over. So it's like, all right, well, what can I do? So other than that, um, I got a little fun treat here. Flash from the past, all right? Got to bring this to you guys. It's funny because I was on this thing for so long, right? But no, 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 no. None of you guys want to believe in it, right? None of these losers wanted to believe it, right? So let's see here. So the Cash Forex Group, right? This is the website of Cash FX, right? So they said uh, they put out this announcement. How, you know, when they launched in 2019, it was a unique concept, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we express our deepest gratitude and trust and support through the years. So they finally like weaned themselves off right into oblivion, All right? This was posted a while ago, but I just wanted to remind you guys. This is this is the flash of the past, flashback, All right? And these losers in the space. Um, it was it was so funny. So this is the CFX legacy that they were kind of alluding to going to, but then it just really didn't go anywhere. Obviously, because what are they gonna do? It was just something they thought on on the site, but there was really nothing they were going to go with in CFX Legacy, right? And so, um, here's the bull and bear pay. Let's see if they have anything here. Oh, it's offline for maintenance. So remember bull and bear pay was supposed to be the payment solution, right? <laughs> you, know, there, you know, with the, the credit card, all you got to do is just sign up for it. Um, which you're just giving up your information, KYC it, <laughs> yeah, giving up all your information, and then they just said, uh, we're going to load your debit cards out, and then you can go spend anywhere you want on the house, right? Because cause we're going to load it for you. You don't have to worry about cashing out the crypto, nothing. And none of that ever panned out. And so... Uh, you know, it's funny. And then you started seeing signs of some of the leaders leave, like Luigi and Justin and others, right? It's like, uh, don't you guys see the sign that these guys have been gone and that these guys are leaving? <laughs> and it makes it solidify that they are gone, gone, right? But no, people still hung in there, right? Like these loser YouTubers. All right, here's, here's one of them. All right. Uh, this loser... Hasn't posted anything in five months. You know, he used to always post weekly updates. Probably longer than that, right? So this is, this is, yeah, he probably posted it in August uh, for July update, right? I mean, look at this. Nothing. All right. Oh, let me show you guys my update for the month, All right? He was always posting updates. Oh, it's CFX Intense. And all this for nothing. It's like, dude, we told you this from the beginning. I told you this from the beginning. All right, when you got in, at the time you got in, you know, like, it was already dying, dude. And I, I kept saying, dude, 
shit's going to be over soon, dude. You got in at the wrong time. And all you kept on doing was he's going to ride it out. It's like, ride out to where? And now look, he's nothing. Not a damn thing since. But here he goes. The payment solution right here, right? You know, that's the whole bull and bear pay debit card stuff. What happened? Right? Funny shit, right? So, uh, yeah, this loser. And my favorite other loser, let me see if I can find him. I call him, if you guys recall, I called him uh, Douchebag on Autopilot, because that's what he called himself. So, uh, let me let me look him up. Let's see here. Um, shit, I don't know what they call him. Oh, there we go. Passive income on Autopilot, right? Douchebag on Autopilot. Let me see here. This loser, right? Nothing's <laughs> for eight months. And he took away, and he was all cash effects intensive, right? Cash effects intensive. And look, he took all those cash effects videos down. When it started having trouble, he took all those videos down like a bitch, all right? This loser. Uh, this little oompa loomp. Hey guys, I got a new update on CFX, Cash FX, because I'm living on an island with my exotic wife. Right? Get the fuck out of here, man. Trash. And you know what? And look what happened. Took out all those all those Cash FX videos trying to pump out this manifest. All right, this this guy is so fake too. He was so fake. All right, that it was funny when Cash FX was in trouble. He got to say, well, you know, he was stacking withdrawals, right? Which he would never show. He would never show every time he did a withdrawal. He was all, hey, guys, I'm doing a CFX update. And I'm stopping by to do a withdrawal today, right? And as he was doing that, I was doing my CFX update videos showing you guys how it was, you know, 16 weeks of withdrawals. And it was counting. On 16 weeks of withdrawals of not paying, just stacking. All right, 20 weeks, and it just kept going longer and longer and longer. Stacking withdrawals because they weren't coming out; they're just stacking them, right? To the point that that they banned me off my off the platform. They suspended my platform on uh, CFX. I couldn't even log in anymore. They they suspended me because I kept showing every week how I wasn't paying. And I stacked the withdrawals every week, week after week after week. I kept saying, I'm going to keep stacking them. Right? And then, uh, while well, douchebag on autopilot there didn't like to show, never ever show. I, I kept saying in my videos, none of these guys will ever show their stacked withdrawals pending. None of them. I was the only one that was doing that. And then uh, they, they suspended me because uh, maybe I was a little too much about cash effects. Look, look. I was keeping it real? I mean, I don't get it. We have uh, Cash Quest, Ball Headed Dildo, and a uh, douchebag on autopilot, Adam. Stacking withdrawals too, but they didn't want to admit that uh, nothing was coming out. And then Dumbass on autopilot here was talking about how he was on his uh, quest of making, I don't know, how much money in 30 days, bullshit. I think he took down those videos too because it was a bunch of crap. Here we go. My third journey to a thousand dollars a day in passive income, and if you read, if you watch these videos, right, he was talking about you know, CFX manifest, you know that stuff, right? He was, he was talking about, you know, a big part of this thousand dollars a day was CFX. It was like, it was like seven hundred, eight hundred dollars, literally. All right, and then like manifest had a little bit of money. Yield knows it was only like twenty five dollars, and uh, it was just funny though. And it wasn't really $1,000 a day. If you watch these videos, it was like $1,000, I think, a week or a month or something like that. But it was not a day. So all this shit was deceiving, right? Trash. It was very deceptive because he was saying this, but it was only really like $1,000, I th I'm going to say a week. It couldn't have been a day because if you're talking about cash effects, you're only pulling out once a week, right? So... You know, shit like that. And then, you know, nothing was coming out. He kept on stacking. But a big part of this explanation was, oh, I'm pulling out, you know, this 
for cash fix. I'm pulling out this from my girlfriend's account. And then I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And then uh, that's how I make $1,000 a day. Right? It sounds like a little piece of shit trash. You know, like... <laughs> You know, doofus, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, I kept on criticizing. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? This is not even a day. This is a week, <laughs> you know? And then, like, it was, it was just funny times, you know? And I kept on trashing on this guy, and I trashed on Ballhead headed Dildo. And look at that. Both these guys are goners, man. Those, they don't got jack shit to talk about in this space no more. That's why I haven't been on YouTube anymore. All right? And then that brings me to present day. All right? Present day trash, Marco's dick bag. All right, right here. Can't wait to see those uh, Echo One videos come down, buddy. Let's see here. Nope, not yet. But look at that. See, uh, six days, sixty views. That's real, all right. Because when he when he was pumping out, you know, all those different uh, you know videos back then of. Um, you know, Coin Market Bull and Cloudfire, they were like, 15K, 15K, 15K views, right? It was like, come on, dude. It's so obvious that it's so fucking fake, dude. All right, and then just like this right here, it's fake. Because it jumped, you know, all of a sudden, like in a, in a couple of days. You know, it's like, come on, dude, really? You went from like 2,000, literally, in a couple of days, it went from 2,000 to 9,000, right? And it's kept climbing up like crazy. Just in a matter of days. It's like, come on, dude. And all of a sudden, it's frozen now. Alright, so that's the fake piece of shit that he is. So anyhow, uh, that was a flash from the past. I just wanted to show you guys on that Cash of X. How they're goners now. Look at that trash. You know, no longer around. And uh, Bull and Bear Pay. They say they're in maintenance right now. I'll check back later. Who, know, who, lo who knows how long this has been in maintenance for. Alright. Um, yeah, these guys last posted on July 2022. This is a separate Cash of X group. Yeah, so they actually moved on to uh, those the same people shifted to uh, Ultima DeFi. Uh, Ultima DeFi U network. They, they shifted to this just recently. Um, yeah, just recently, a couple weeks ago, all of a sudden, their Telegram group just shifted to Ultima, just changed name, everything. I was like, whoa, shit. <laughs> they even changed the site. See, I, they still have, you know, Cash of X graphics still here, but everything else they changed up. Let's see, DeFi U. Yeah. So, just saying. Flash from the past. So, this is the only one that's actually working around the site. Is this P2P shit. Yeah, so. Just saying. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. That uh, all these platforms I talked about. I think they're just dead in the water. Well, I mean, dead in the water. With the CFX cherry on top flashback. That uh, I kept just smashing on over and over and over again. This shit's done. Kept telling douchebag and Adam that they're done, or I'm sorry, ball-headed dildo, and Adam dickbag, uh, you know, douchebag on autopilot that it was done. They didn't want to take my word for it. Just saying. But anyhow, thanks for tuning in. Uh, the latest on Death Watch. I know there's a lot to cover, man. All that stuff. <laughs> You let the weekend go through, and you would think L Green would do something, or Echo One, not <laughs> right, would do something, but no. And then um, I kind of came across Cash of X, um, those those guys. Just when I was looking through pages, I was like, oh, you know, what? I'm gonna bring up these guys again. They're trash. Look at that. They haven't come up with content at all ever since. Funny as hell. So uh, again, that's your latest update. Comment down below. Links are in the description for anything that you want to, you know, if you're interested in any of those things. Uh, also, subscribe to everything I got. That way you can stay on top of everything we got going on and riveting episodes of We Never Know What You're Going to Get coming out of me. Just saying. And I'll see you in the next one.